Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's a slightly uh, cheesy introduction, but then yeah, uh, why not? Really good. But uh, <laughs> you but, it it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. It's true that you've been around 60, 70, 80, and You've been around a long time. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, uh, yeah. you've been some highs and lows. Well, oh, mostly yes. highs in your case. <laughs> but uh, more highs than you can yeah, imagine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, what was that? That because uh, uh, that's perhaps the most distinctive thing now. That mm. that high pitched. Oh, the false yeah, That's it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> were you working with Mickey Mouse at the time? Mini. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, he got his voice from me. I'm afraid. Yeah. Was it just the um, tight jeans? No, it was, yeah. it was, um, it was Arif Mardem, the, the record producer, yeah. who was suggesting that we come up with some high-pitched screams yes. um, uh, for, for the end of... I don't, I don't Why? <laughs> well, he just thought you said you look like a screamer and... Uh, no, well, yeah, you yeah. knew that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but that's not what he said, actually. He no. said, he said um, can you go out in the studio and try and scream at the end of a song called Nights on Broadway? Right. And so I went out there and I tried screaming and... Um, and it, uh, you got to scream in tune, you know. You can't yes. to scream in tune, it doesn't work. Obviously, you know? yes. Mm, yeah. And um, as, as I'm sure you're well aware. Yes. Um, yeah. So um, I did that and it worked, and uh, we, we've sort of exp experimented with it ever since, and uh, in fact, done a lot of songs where yeah. the uh, falsetto was actually singing the, the song and not just screaming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so and do you worked. mind him doing that, or do you, uh, you, you happen really. to fit him? No. <laughs> <laughs> um. Actually, they did it on a few songs, about two or three songs of our career, like Night yeah. Fever and yeah. Night yeah. on Broadway. Yeah. But uh, it was just happened to have been part of Saturday Night Fever. Yeah. Which was oh, but Spirits having flown the pollen. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Saturday Night yeah. Fever. Well. No, we've done all right. Yeah. I feel like I'm you know, in the fan club here. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. But Saturday Night Fever kind of stamped its identity on you and, and yeah. you on it. Yeah. Uh, and he sometimes describes a bit of a millstone because it was recorded, the film came out and the yeah. music came out at the, yeah. in the end of the 70s, the decade which fashion forgot. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> right. Yeah, and now you sometimes get the blame for it, you know, no, the, those sort of tight thing. trousers, I, I, the flares, well, the slash yeah, to the right. I think this decade is the decade that fashion forgot, because yes. everybody's going back to the 70s and wearing the same clothes again, yeah. you know. Uh, but we you can't. probably still had yours, did you? Lying no, around uh, my daughter's wearing mine. Is she? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, no, we got the yeah. clothes, we've still got the clothes from Sergeant Pepper, but that's a totally different story. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Right, because you, you played the Beatles in the Sergeant Pepper. No, we did. We played Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Yeah. Yeah. In, in the not an entirely happy experience. Yeah, it totally it well, enjoyable. Yeah. <laughs> no, the, the making of Sergeant Pepper is really what yeah, people yeah, should yeah, have seen. Yeah. 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 But now Saturday Night Fever is 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 back on again. Because, uh, mm -hmm. It's a bit of a surprise, but it's, it's been announced yep. that there's a stage show yeah, coming. There's a stage show starting in May. Um, we're, we're actually our music's in it, but we have nothing really to do with the production of it. Yeah. But it's uh, it's actually the stage version of the music because the, yeah. the Grease, for instance, was a stage show. Yeah. And then became a film, and this yeah. was a film which was. And you wrote uh, uh, one of the songs, the Grease, in, in that yes. show. You, you, yeah. there's, there's songs of yours everywhere. There's, there are country hits that you wrote. There's your songs, yeah, other yeah. people's songs. No symphonies. Yeah. Actually, no, no symphonies. No. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> kind of, only a matter of time. But, so what is it? Well, how do you know how to write uh, hit songs? Because that's it. You are doing... you're hit writers, aren't you? We've been doing it well, since we were I think kids. that's the word, anyway. Yeah. Yeah, but it's a nice word. <laughs> well, yes. Right. <laughs> we're, we're one letter shot. But anyway, there's this... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you always... Whatever so you write, so you, you're, 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 <laughs> sometimes you're fashionable. I'm glad, I'm glad you all find it amusing. Yeah. No, but sometimes you're uh, fashionable, usually yeah. you're not, but, you, but you're always yeah. terrifically yeah. successful. Mm. Everybody buys your records. You know, it's getting better. Keep what, going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're what doing is well. It? What is it? Something you put in the water? or what's, what's No, um, I, <laughs> I don't know. You've stumped me completely. Um, uh, <laughs> oh, come on. You must have been asked this well, before. We get, well, not in, the, not in quite that way. Um, <laughs> we've, um, we, we get together. We put our heads together. We, we try to find the same headspace. And... Um, and, yeah. and that's how it works. Yeah. And that's, I think, any team What's that space? writes... What's headspace? What's that? <laughs> <can't> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You've been in America too long, I, guess, yes. I think. Yes. But, uh, no, the, but uh, you work together, but there's three... Normally, there's like two songwriters. So does one do the words, another do the music, the other do the crossword? We're all, or do you, we're all, we're all, <laughs> we're all sounding work? boards. We're yeah. all sounding boards for ideas, yeah. and, and uh, we bounce off each other. Not physically, of course, yeah. but... but um, yeah. we, we, we wanted to. Yes. yes. <laughs> and, um, well, you've been pretty happy together for most of the time, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, I but think it's because we all have the same sense of humour. Yeah. We just yeah. have fun. Because yeah. yeah. I didn't realise you were real brothers. I oh, think yeah. you were sisters, actually. Yeah. But, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> well, I thought we were coming yeah. to that in a few yeah. minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we're working our way up. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, a lot, a lot of like, the Jacksons are well known to have been set off as a young age. You set off as a young yes. age, but it seems to have done quite a lot of damage to them in terms of their personality and how they get on with each other. You yes. seem well adjusted well, I to think each other. It, anyway. Yeah, well, it's ups and downs. Yeah. yeah. You know, um, we've, we've had uh, some problems in our lives. We've had adversity. Yeah. And I think we've, we've learned how to deal with that. Yeah. And I think that we're much more mature now. Well, you've had the whole rock and roll thing of... Uh, Drugs and sex and mm -hmm. drink and so I hope you've got it in hospitality. I noticed that, We like to see our guests proud, but, we uh, do. Yeah. No, but you've, you've been through all that kind of thing. But I'm just talking about you as a as unit, you're like regular brothers who aren't yes. you know, singing together. Yes. 
often well, fall well, out started, and sibling rivalry. It started way back in um, in Manchester. Uh, it's, well, we were born in the Isle of Man. So of course, it, we're, yes, we're going right back. Yeah. Yes, we're going right back. Yeah. We were born in the Isle of Man, and we, we started in Manchester at the Gormont Cinema, and we called ourselves the Rattlesnakes. Yes. And that didn't work too well. No. So we called what ourselves. What was that? Which? Why the Rattlesnakes? Was that any, why not? any particular reason? Why not? Is that a boast <laughs> or what? <laughs> it's a skittle. Yeah. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably just uh, slow an, worms in those days. Yeah. Yeah. And then we moved on to Wee Johnny Hayes and the Blue Cats, nobody admitting to being Wee Johnny Hayes. No, no. And, um, and then in the last sort of, uh, before we became the Bee Gees, we were late tossers. Mm. Yes. Which we thought was... Yeah. Um, um, You'll always be late tossers to me, but I don't uh, know. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why we're here. Yeah. And that's why you had it on the show. Yeah. Um, but you, uh, you, your father took you to Australia to keep you out of trouble, because you were like uh, wild... Well, on the wild. advice of the Manchester Police, yeah. 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 You're yeah. the <laughs> last criminals to yes. be deported to Australia. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. yes. Yeah. And was that a great, did that sort of waking you up, brightening you up, you know, the wide open space of Australia, well, sunshine? It was, it, it was like, well, in Australia you couldn't, uh, there wasn't much of a pop business going on, so we no. were like three, we were like a dirty version of the Osmonds. Right. We grew up on the television and all that yes. stuff, you know, but, and I'd had a couple of minor hits and stuff, and yeah. it did okay, but we had to work in the clubs and do an adult act and everything. You did, yeah. There was no pop audience until we no. came back to England. But you were like kids then, so, you were like oh, yeah. 13, yeah. 40, we something We started like when yeah. Robin and I were about six. Yes. And six. Barry, Barry yeah. was about nine. Yeah. yeah. So. And are you always the older? I mean, obviously you're still the older, the older brother. brother yeah. but are, do you play the? Are you always? Because older brothers tend to like want to be in charge and say what would you do. Is he always? Like, perhaps I should ask you. Is he? Still, ask him. I think yeah. on different days as those older brothers. I think on depending on the the uh, the problem or yeah. the the project or different different. Um, Different things that occur during the day, that, or in, in a certain project or an album, there is a different brother be taking the yeah. the role as lead. Right. Mm -hmm. So. Um, and then you. I then don't you, know what it is today. You, when the Beatles came out, you came tearing back over to to England to be yeah. part of the the pop scene. Yeah. yeah. I think it was long after the Beatles actually. Yeah. I think they, yeah. they peaked by the time we got back. You're yeah. breaking up, but. Um, well, not quite. Well, Sergeant well, Pepper. It yeah. was just the last the last yeah. big album. Mm. And uh, and it was then, of course, it was a very exciting period then. Yeah. Um, to, to make a start in the UK, it was uh, everything was happening. And younger younger viewers might not remember your work pre Saturday Night mm. Fever because it was those, those big ballad, big production numbers, yeah, Massachusetts. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, words, well, all that. And I loved all those. They were they yeah. were sort of. Yeah. Oh, I thought we were tossers. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, you, you developed. Your you developed into that. Yeah. yeah. You well, can't, you can't, yeah. That. No. Yeah. When you you see, I kind yeah. of. It slipped off when you went into that, you know, yes, of course. Sudden Night Fever and the, actually, the that was our, Actually, that was our new album. We didn't write for the film. No. No, they no. just used our music in the film, so... But I find that difficult to follow the hype. My dog loves yeah. it, but uh, I was just... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but do you, ever, do, you, do you enjoy doing those, those, those old ones as well when you're oh, performing yeah. now? Oh, yeah, oh, we, yeah. we try yeah. to cover everything, the whole yeah. spectrum when we, when we do a show, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, they're, they're kind of pop standards, aren't they? They're sort of classic. Well, thank you. Yeah, yeah. 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 very nice. Yes. We don't, we, you know, we don't, yeah. they're our babies as far as we're concerned. Yeah. And then you had a what turns out to be quite a short period when you split, you split up. Uh, yeah. Was that a particularly fraught time? Do you think? Well, that was well, that was your career finished. You'd had a few years, and that was going to be it. Because some groups do that, and they yeah. they never heard of again. Yeah. Did you yeah. think that might be happening to you? No, not really. No, we, we sort of well, when we split up, yes, yes, yes. for fifteen months, I think it was. Yeah. But we realised we we didn't enjoy it being by ourselves. No. You know? So it was a lot of things going on, egos and things. And when you, I mean, Robin and I were about nineteen. Yeah. So we were like all young and getting all these things. People telling you that one brother's better than the other, and you don't need them. No. You don't need sure. him. So we believed all that yeah. crap, you know. Yeah, <laughs> but it didn't last that long. I mean, no. it probably no. felt a long time. But you had one very, very good uh, single on your own, there, "Saved by the Bell." That was that's that right. was a good yeah, one. Did, was do you feel? Oh, I don't need those other two. I can knock out something <laughs> like that. There was a lot of ego problems at the time, yeah. and um, I, don't, I can't even remember well, we why. Had one at the same time called "Don't Forget to Remember," which was. Yeah. A I've, I've forgotten that one. But <laughs> yeah, we've got you. Yeah, of, of course. We're getting yeah. on like a storm, aren't we, Tom? Yes. <laughs> In fact, I might just leave. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've never had anyone walk out before, but... Uh, well, uh, we are. Toss up, pal. <laughs> so, anyway. Night, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is a setup. <laughs> Oh, well, I guess I'd better join oh. them. <laughs> well, well, you can stay in uh, just Well, I'd love to, but I don't do impressions. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I can't get this off. Well, I'll get it off next door. I'll see you later, bye. Okay. Well, there you go. There's your of the Bee Gees. <laughs> okay. Um, well, um, uh, that uh, looks about all uh, it for tonight. I hope they've got the potter's wheel uh, ready. But uh, thank you to all my guests, those who stayed and those who have gone. This is me, Clive Anderson, saying good night. Good night. <laughs>